right y'all i have to turn why am i blurry i had to turn this camera on like three times or whatever this camera be tripping but anyways welcome to the got damn vlog getting ready to go to the store to get um yeah we're getting ready to go to the store go to the store we gotta go pay our rent that's what we're about to do right now i have my cap i'm wearing my cap again today because i haven't been doing my hair because i ain't been doing nothing but um dang girl Wow, so wearing some tight ass jeans. Ow. You gonna have niggas looking at you all day today. Anyways, um, I forgot what the hell I was saying. <laughs> hey y'all, I know I look blurry, but I'm in H-E-B. About to get something to cook, probably for today and tomorrow. All right, y'all, I'm at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm at home now. I'm out of breath, because I just carry my laptop case and the laptop in the house. And these little bags, it's not a lot, but yeah. I get very exhausted. Like, it seems like the grocery store has been exhausting me lately. Um, I was very, 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 very stressed out earlier. I don't need to be having no flare ups. That, that just doesn't help the situation. You know what I mean? So anyways, moving on. It, it doesn't feel too bad right now. So, y'all, but I wanted to, oh, let me show y'all first. Okay, so I got some hamburger meat, got some tortillas, my taco seasoning pack. Oh, I'm weird, I eat, I mean, I like to eat my tacos with soft corn tortillas. Last night I told Candace about that and she was like, Mom, you're so old school. Don't nobody eat soft corn tortillas anymore. And I was like, well, I don't care. I do. You know, <laughs> so yeah, but I don't want, I like, I don't want no lettuce on it. I don't want no cheese on it. I don't want nothing on it. I just like the hamburger meat and the taco seasoning playing like that in inside my corn tortilla so i got some potatoes and i got some sausage already have some sweet onions left so yeah so i'm gonna cut up tomorrow i'm gonna cut up onions and i'm gonna cut up the sausage and i'm gonna cut up the potatoes and put them in the pan together and cook that up it's gonna be amazing okay okay yo tell me something no I am not superstitious, right? I try not to be, well, I deliberately don't fall into superstition, try not to, because I do actually believe in, you know, spirits. I believe in manifesting. I believe in those types of things, energy, you know, all of that, which is why I've started to like, I'm trying my hardest, I just started, <laughs> consciously started yesterday trying to get back to thinking positive like I used to always talk about this on my channel positive thoughts manifest itself well positive thoughts and positive talk okay the words that come out of your mouth manifests itself in a positive way in your life and so I try not to be like superstitious, like, you know, don't bring the umbrella. I don't know if y'all heard of this one. You can't bring the umbrella open in the house 
uh, when it's raining because that's bad luck or you know I don't believe in luck basically I may say good luck on some stuff but I don't believe in luck like I believe that things happen for a reason basically so what makes me say this what leads me to say this is that I had I have been like the past two weeks or a week and a half something like that week and a half to two weeks I have been finding start to say pennies I've been finding dimes constantly like I've been looking at this dime on the floorboard of my car um I finally picked it up today but I've been looking at it for like almost two weeks now I've been looking at it's a dime that was in the console part in the middle. I've been looking at that for like two weeks now. Then I found a dime on the closet floor in my bedroom. Then there was another dime on the little chair right here that I usually have been next to the couch so I could sit stuff on when I'm laying on the couch. I had a dime there. I'm not sure where it came from. I found a dime on the ground outside. And I've, oh, and I found a dime on the floor next to my bed. All within this time period. But what's weird about it is that I didn't pick up these dimes. I just been looking at them and I was like, oh, I'll just go back and pick them up, you know. But for some reason today, I was like, girl, go pick up them dimes. Because when I got in the car, like, I needed, when I went into the store, like, I'm one of those type of people where if something is a dollar thirty-five at the store, I don't want to give you two dollars. I want to give you a dollar thirty-five, okay? And so I, I'm always looking for the exact change. And it was that kind of a scenario. It was like thirteen thirty-five or something like that. And I was like, I had 30 cents. And then, well, I had 30 cents in my purse, right? In my wallet. And I also had a quarter. So, well, two quarters and a dime. And so I was like, I didn't want to give them, no, two quarters and a nickel. I didn't want to give them two quarters. I really did not. And I was like, see, this would have been a good time for me to have that dime. So I decided to go pick up all of these dimes. I feel like it means something though. I feel like it means something. Just like, you know, seeing the numbers 1111 is like good luck or whatever. Hmm. I'm gonna have to Google this. If y'all know or if y'all have any thoughts on this or if you think that it means something, let me know in the comments below. Like, I'm really curious. All right, y'all.